So we're going to have a look at index numbers in this video. Now index numbers are basically percentages but without a percentage sign and they compare the price of an item with a base year price with almost an original price and each year what's the percentage change increase or decrease. Okay so let's look at the official definition. So to recap Index numbers are about comparing prices, so this is sort of very real world examples. They're comparing the price of an item with a base year price. So you choose a base year, a starting point, and each time you're comparing it to that original amount. You're looking at percentage change. And the base year has the base percentage of 100%. It starts off at 100%. But because an index number is a percentage without a percentage sign, then the index number would just be 100 instead of 100%. So the base year has index number 100. And let's look at a very simple example in which we use this. OK, so we're looking at the price of first class stamps every year. Can I say there is a huge jump here? If you look at the price, 41p, 46p, and all of a sudden 60p. So I think this is quite ridiculous, personally, the price of a first class stamp these days. Anyway, rant aside, um, let's look at the index numbers. So if you look, it tells you the base year is the um, 2010 year. So index number of the base year is always 100, 100%, so that's easy enough. And now I need to look at my next year. So 2011, the price is 46, but what is that? As an increase, what percentage is that of the total here? So it's 46 out of your original 100%, 41, and you times it by 100. Now you're expecting an answer bigger than 100 because it's an increase, so it's more than 100% of what it was previously. So you're looking at the price here, that's your price, and here you've got your base price, And then you're timesing it by 100. And if you put that into a calculator, you're going to get 112 to the nearest whole number. So this would be 112%. But remember, the index numbers are percentages without the percentage sign. So that's 112. For my next one, 60. Once again, it'll be 60 out of the base year. My base year is always 41. So 60 out of 41 times by 100. And that will give me... 146 percent 146 okay pause the video and see if you can work out the other four years okay check your answers and that's all you've got to do for the index numbers and what we're just looking at for example in 2016 it is 156 percent of the original that is it's 56 percent more than it used to be. And that's what index numbers are talking about. Just to ensure that we understand that as a percentage change, we're going to look at the second example. OK, now we're looking at petrol prices, which can fluctuate quite a lot. Um, I remember when I first got my first car, it was, petrol was very cheap, down to 89 pence per litre. But these days, it's a lot more than that. Um, so it's got three years here. and. The base year is 2015 and we're looking at the percentage change in price. So the first of all, from 2015 to 2017, what is the percentage change in price? Well, from 100% to 110%, that's clearly a 10% increase. So you just write price increased by 10%. And for part B, from 2015 to 2016, okay, well, to get from here to here, you're taking away 5%. It's only worth 95% of the original amount, which is a good thing. Petrol's got cheaper, and so the price decreases by 5%. Okay, so remember that index numbers are about percentage change, and that's basically all there is to a normal index number. So we're now going to look at chain base index numbers, which are really similar with one slight difference. But before I move on, just want to remind people that if the number like with this one is greater than 100, then you're showing that it's an increase, a percentage increase. And if it's less than 100 like this, 
we're looking at a decrease. So chain base index numbers are, as it might suggest, about a chain. So just like with a chain, each one depends on the previous one. Instead of each time relating back to the original one, you're looking at a chain. You're saying what's the percentage compared to the previous year. Each time you're not relating back to an original year, but last year, last month, whatever the most recent one is, what percentage change has there been since then. So the definition would be that chain base index numbers compare prices from each year with the previous year. To summarise, the chain base index number for each year is that year's price as a percentage of the previous year's price. And once again, it's written without the percentage sign. So let's look at an example for this. So we're looking at diesel. Once again, fuel for cars, and we're looking at the price change over a number of different years. So we've got 2013, 14, 15 and 16, and the price per litre. And in this case, we want the chain base index numbers for each time. So we're looking at it related to the previous year. Now, because we have no data for 2012, there is no chain base for 2013 because we don't know the previous year. But for 2014, we do know the previous year. The new price is 138, but last year it was 139. And then you times it by 100 to make it into a percentage. So in this case, it's the current price, and you're dividing it by last year's price. And to the nearest whole number, 99%. And that makes sense, because it's only a tiny bit different but it has decreased, so here it's less than 100, our number's less than 100. Okay, for the next one, the new price is 116 out of last year's price, and last year's price for the chain is 138, and then I'll times it by 100. And that'll give me rounded 84%, 84, and for the last one, 103 and last year's price, 2015, is 116 times 100, and you get around 89. Okay, so that is my part A complete. So in each case, the, case, the formula is the price divided by last year's price times 100. Okay, what was the percentage change from 2013 to 2014? So what we're looking at here is this number, because this is the change from 2013 to 2014. And what is the percentage change? Well, since it's 99% of the previous amount, it's less by 1%. So the percentage change here is minus 1. So the price decreased by 1%. The price decreased by 1%. So very similar to the normal index numbers. In this case, the only difference is you're not each time relating it back to the this base year. You're relating it as a chain to the previous link each time. Have a go at some examples, some questions.